I've seen skid steer loaders and I've seen compact track loaders and I have never seen this type of a loader before. No. And I believe you're the man who's responsible or one of the men responsible for this machine. So please, can you give us a quick introduction to it? Absolutely, absolutely. When we, when we uh, first started thinking about this, it was all around uh, operator comfort and how do we, how do we, can we achieve a smoother ride? Mm -hmm. And so we started thinking about different ways to do that and this was one of our solutions that we came up with. So when you're going over rougher ground, it's, it's really nice because it smooths that out because these are not only tracked, but they oscillate. So they mm -hmm. follow the ground and they start hugging the ground really nicely. So this is an S76, it's a production S76. So what you do to put these on, it's a kit. It's a bolt-on kit. Oh, it's fully interchangeable from and the wheels to the quad tracks. Yes, absolutely. You, you pull your wheels off, and these are actually just bolted to the to the hub and i always tell people it's like it's like teaching your skid steer a new trick okay you know, so it's uh, you can get these tracks on there and you can do a lot of really good things with that you get some of those advantages of that track loader but you get some of the advantages of a, of a skid steer so it's that nice hybrid machine that operates right in the middle of those two of those two units it's not necessarily a unit to replace one of those two units it's just an addition additional to, benefit to yes. it so in terms of taking them on and off you made it sound very easy yes okay how long would it take to take on and off i can do it in about two hours maybe the first time you ever did it it's gonna maybe take you a little longer than that a little bit of a learning curve but you know going right through the instructions uh we made it fairly easy to just put this machine up on jack stands take your uh, wheels off and then with the, the help of uh, maybe an overhead hoist uh, to actually help you put these on, because some of the components are a little bit heavy, but I know I can do it in about two hours, so it's a, it's a not that bad of a changeover. Okay. That would mean about six for me, I would say, but maybe, <laughs> possibly. Oh, uh, no. But in terms in of um, wear and tear uh, versus the conventional uh, track loader, where would this sit in relation to that in terms of the parts and components that are, because there are a lot more components actually here on it. So it's about the same amount of components of, of your track loader. So I, as far as wear and tear, it's very similar to a track loader. We're still using this, uh, you know, bar lug uh, uh, track that is a, it's, it's, it's virtually the same track as a track loader. Mm -hmm. It's just shorter. Mm -hmm. uh, we still have the idlers. We still have the rollers. Uh, so any of that, it's very similar to a track loader. So as far as wear and tear, the uh, the interesting thing on this is that there is no tensioner on here. Mm. So you have uh, uh, you have a half sprocket that actually does your tensioning as you roll it around. So okay. when you're putting this on, your half sprocket is down, and you can put your track on, and then you roll that half sprocket up, and that's what actually sets your tension because oh, it's wow. such a short track. Okay, very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's a very simplistic design. And is this design currently in testing at the moment, or is this a kit that you guys have have, have released or to be releasing soon? This is this is actually in testing and in, in our endurance testing right now. Mm -hmm. We're actually going to be releasing this out to the public in in the. Uh, first to second quarter of 2023. This isn't the only thing that sets this loader apart. No. And if we can no. walk around this Absolutely. way, we will so, show you. You've got yeah. some other tricks up your sleeve when it comes to this loader. It's not just this. As, that as is I correct. Said. So we've, we've put the tracks on here, but we have a few other things on this unit that we can uh, talk to. Uh, th these units that are right down here, they kind of look a little different than a, a normal tailgate of a of an S76. Mm -hmm. And the reason that is, is these are our radar. Mm -hmm. So these are active radar units. We can set it to do different things. We can set it to just alert the operator. Mm -hmm. we like can a set reversing it. alarm in a car or a truck. Right, yeah. absolutely. Same, same, same principle. Yeah, we can set it to just slow the machine down mm -hmm. and allow you to actually come in contact with something but actually slow the machine down or we can actually set it to slow the machine down and then stop mm -hmm. and, and not let you actually come in contact with something. First question that I'm gonna get asked by some of my customers yes. is this, is that what happens when you're working, because skid steers go into the dirtiest, toughest environments that, that you can imagine. If it gets dirty, do they have to be as clean as this? Do you have to keep wiping them off or can that system work when it's in the real world? So that is a great, that's a great question and that's one of the first questions that came up is that why are you using radar? Why are you not using ultrasonic? Why aren't you using a camera? Why aren't you mm. using a LiDAR and these type of things? Well, in a really dirty environment, things like LiDAR don't do well. They get fooled by being dirty or having a very dirty environment. Mm -hmm. Radars, radars can see through all of that, all of that. So dirt, you can get dirt on this, it's no problem. Mm -hmm. uh, you can have a very dusty environment, it's mm -hmm. no problem. And of course, I see a big red stop button here. Yes. Right, which normally you wouldn't see in a track loader. And I see a blue nope. beacon on top, which 
I know is for remote control. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That it yeah. is, and, and this is the Max Control. And really, it's a, it's a nice kit. And so all of these things that we've talked about on this machine mm -hmm. are bolt-on kits. Well, I know the theme for this year's BAMA is groundbreaking innovation. Yes. Uh, and you, your team, have done a great job because I've there's things in this machine that I would have never have thought possible. Yeah. Yes. So look, thank you for taking the time to talk us through it. It's an absolute pleasure. Absolutely. And, uh, we must get you over to Ireland sometime soon. <laughs> yeah, yes, I would love yeah. that. Thank Super. you. Welcome to episode three of the Adair Machinery Vlog coming to you live from the world's biggest construction event, BAMA 2022. <laughs>